Hello, my friends. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today's my weekly uh, video of what I've sold on eBay from, uh, forgot the dates, hang on, <laughs> uh, May 19th, 2019 to May 26th, 2019. Yeah, my name is Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay since about 2001. Didn't really take it seriously until about 2008. Just sold little knickknacks around the house. Um, got involved in consignment. Went through eBay's uh, trading assistant program. Uh, got into eBay education specialist. I do a lot of training in eBay. And I sell a lot on eBay. I do a lot of parting outs of items, dishwashers, appliances. And I also do a lot of consignment. I like consignment. Consignment is not for everybody. It works for me. So, and I also run the uh, Raleigh eBay meetup group. I just love teaching people how to make extra money and how to get a side hustle going on eBay. I also sell on other venues, but eBay is my main venue. Please visit my YouTube channel. Please like my channel, subscribe to it, and like this video if you find it helpful. I'm going to go over a lot of items. I sold a lot of things this week. This is a selection of stuff I've sold. Some of the stuff you've seen before because there's multiple of items. And we're going to give you some great items and some horror stories, I believe, in being real. So let's get this show on the road. That is the last item. Sorry, that's not supposed to be up there. <laughs> First item I sold in the last week was, you've seen these before, these uh, drive shaft upper drive shaft booms for the uh, string trimmers. Troy built two-cycle engine. Start up, trim your lawn. That's the piece that goes into the engine here seems to be very popular i've sold this is my last one i sold i've sold about 10 of these already i average about um probably 12 to 15 dollars a sale excuse the noise today i'm coming to you from uh, the frontier out in the research triangle park it's a co-working space i love working out here the energy is insane so let's um show you what i do here some of the pictures obviously a lot of you guys have seen this before but i want to make sure the newbies see it I always take a picture of both ends of the shaft. Right there, let's see, input shaft. This is more important, the output shaft. You want to make sure that this is not all burned up. If this is all burned up, just throw it away. It's not even worth selling. Uh, like I said, everybody's gotten these. They've been happy with them. It takes me probably about 10 to 15 minutes to part out one of these things. And I probably make about 40 to 60, 80 bucks profit from all the parts I sell on that. So that's one. I'm going to try and go through these pretty quick because I got a lot of items here. Probably too many items this week. And this thing is being real slow. A piece to a dishwasher, a silverware rack to a whirlpool that I parted out. Not a whole lot of money. Probably made about $13 off that. No, probably $14, $15 off of this. If they're shipping and fees, I think this went first class. So I made a little bit of money on shipping. Just popped it out and put it on eBay. Took all sides. I'm real anal with the pictures. All sides. And there's a part number I found. And on every item, I try and do this on every item I'm parting out. I take a picture of the model number right off the dishwasher. These are located either inside the door part that you pull down to get your dishes out. Or inside the door frame. All depends what dishwasher you're uh, doing. But that's where those parts are. Real quick, go through my descriptions. I try and use all the item specifics I can, and I keep my descriptions very, very short because 80% of the sales are done on smart devices, phones, and tablets. People don't have time to read on little screens. Even though they're getting, they're getting pretty big, people don't have time to read on little screens. Let's go on to the next item. <clears throat> Sorry for the delay. I don't know what the delay is in this. This is... Uh, Attachments off of a shark vacuum cleaner. I parted out one. This is a video I did on I did a video on parting out these vacuum cleaners uh, a while ago. If you want to look that up, that'd be great. Um, just two end attachments. I parted out, uh, sold the parts off of one, and saw these still lay in the box. And I thought, are people really going to buy these? Well, they did. I made probably thirteen dollars off of these. Went first class. I think they went out at like four ounces. Put it in a uh, eBay poly envelope, little bubble wrap, and that was it. I always make sure I take pictures of the brush so people see the brush is in good shape. Both sides. I guess I'm pretty crazy with um, 
with my pictures. I could not find a part number. Part numbers are hard to find on these shark vacuum cleaners. I have no idea. I don't know what the delay is here. I'm sorry. Uh, this is this is a consignment item. I'm consigning for a friend of mine that does work in restaurants, does computer systems, and he pulled these out and he thought I wanted to throw them out. And I said, no, we're going to sell them. So I'm giving him a good break on these. I usually do 50-50 split. I don't know what I'm going to give him on these. I'm not making a whole lot of money on these because shipping these is a real pain in the neck. Um, any kind of electronic item I sell, I always show the part number of that. I always show it powered up, the process of it being powered up if it has a process. It has phases. This is basically a computer for a restaurant. You've seen them. They run your car through there if you're done eating, stuff like that. So we just went out to California. These never seem to go local. <laughs> they always go out west or really far away where shipping is right around $26.99, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. I should do calculated shipping, I know. I keep on forgetting. It's a listing I have multiples of. I have one more left of these. And he told me he has more in his basement he wants to give me. Like I said, I try and use all the other specifics. I look this one up, I put everything, see enters. See, I always make note, I make another specific saying screen has where, refer to photo four. So let me show you photo four. Because I want to make sure that the people are happy with this. See? See fingerprints from the from the um from people pressing it, probably getting their, their passcode in there. Okay, this piece has been laying in my garage for oh um several years. I found it in a box. I thought this is really gonna sell. Well, it did. It sold in about a day. Uh, didn't make a whole lot of money on it, but it went out first last because it's so light. It's the half of a weed blower, handheld weed blower. Do you, you know, these are really good. These steel weed blowers. If you find these in garage sales or on the side of the road, grab them. The parts sell very, very well on these. These echoes. Um, the other throwaway ones, like toy belts, they do okay, but these, grab these if you see them. Uh, took a picture of the part number. And I used all the specifics I could. Very short. The guy got it. He was thrilled. Let me feedback immediately. <clears throat> uh, this gas tank. These <laughs> these gas tanks, man. I'll tell you. They, these little gas tanks. I don't know what's with them. I listed this, and within 10 minutes, it was sold. So, ooh, i got to find more of these. So, uh, <laughs> this is the only one I found with a cap on it. Went out first class. Here's the part number. Here's the engine number. I take a picture of that. All the specs on the gas tank. I always take a picture of the inside of the gas tank. And I always say, see there's some dirt down the bottom there. On this one, even up here, I put it in the user descriptions. I put all this item note one inside may need to be cleaned out, rinsed out. All these item specifics. It takes me probably five minutes to make a listing like this. Um, you newbies, it's just going to take you forever to make a listing, but once you get the listing thing figured out, it's going to take you no time at all. It, it used to take me an hour to do a listing when I first started, so we were all there. Just get your system down, whatever that may be. So I made pretty good money on this, went out first class. I probably made a, probably 20 bucks on this, $21 on this, so I was happy. Uh, fan blades. This is the story I told you last week. I get these from the thrift store from the free section. They have shopping carts out front. And I always grab all the fan blades. These go really quick. Well, I got one set that's not going real quick. But um, again, I paid nothing for them. So I've got zero invested in it. So I'm happy to even make $10, $15. Uh, I made probably, uh, probably about $14 on these. These sold probably within a week. They went down. I think these went down to Charleston too. I make sure I measure um, the length, the width, the, the width at the end. I state that there's some paint and dirt on it. Now, this is one thing I do with these fan blades. I made this template. I took a picture of it, obviously. And then I come over here and I go, there's 
uh, oops, there's B. That's B length, or distance between the two holes, and that's A length. So it's very important. People want to know what the because I'm my goal is when I list is I don't want to return over something that there doesn't need to be returned on. I want to make sure people know what they're getting, what the size is, if it works, if it doesn't work, what the known problems are of it. So that's why I'm real crazy with these pictures like this. I also put the eye specific screw hole measurements. A, there it is, center to center. I also put it down here, center to center. I always add this not responsible for part fitting. And I, I get some questions, not a whole lot. And all my salesmen are really, really good. So that's pretty good. That's a free item. Again, most of my items I get are either for free through consignment or I get appliances from Craigslist for free and part them out. I, I don't buy too many items. I do some thrifting, but not a whole lot. Uh, here's a uh, pressure washer pump. I'm in the process of clearing out my garage and my backyard of old lawnmowers and equipment. Got a scrap guy coming every week, every Saturday to pick up stuff. And I thought, this is so old pressure washer pump. This is so old. Nobody's going to buy this. But I thought, I give it to the scrap guy. It's aluminum. He'll get a couple bucks for it. I thought, now let me put it on eBay. Sold it within an hour. Um, it does not work. I stated it does not work. Parts not working. A lot of people rebuild these. Um, I did small engine repair for a while. I never rebuilt a pump. People tell me it's not that hard. I guess it's a sawed after pump. But notice how I stressed over and over again, selling it for parts, and the description there. Again, I do not know the history of pump. I'm very honest. It may be fine. I have no idea. I stressed that I cannot get the hose off, so I cut it off. And there it is. I took pictures of everything. It was hard finding this pump information on it on the internet because I was going by the model I, I was going by the brand Troy built but really it's not it's a Briggs and Stratton pump and how did I find that out because I found this part number and I googled the part number and it came up so it gave me all this information about the pump down here so it takes a little while to research this stuff sometimes these parts but it's well worth it oh we're about halfway through here guys uh, wheels I saw lots and lots of wheels uh, sometimes there's slow tail sales, which means they take a while to sell on eBay, but these sold pretty quick within a week. Um, again, there's the distance of the, the width of the wheel, the length, the, the size of the wheel. There's a picture of the tread, back, model number for the mower, and the wheels. Um, Got to be careful with shipping these. Sometimes shipping can kill you, um, but I did okay with these. I think these went down to South Carolina or Ohio. I can't remember. It's been a real busy week. Notice I always trust two wheels. You're buying two wheels. Uh, people don't understand sometimes, especially when it's only one wheel. I stress it's one wheel. You're getting one wheel, one wheel, over and over again because that's people don't don't. Here it is. You're buying two wheels, and I always do the number two, and I spell it out for searchability on uh, eBay. I have specifics all filled in, model number, or part number was on the inside of the hub. Do I have a picture of that? I don't know what's, no, I don't, but it's it's there. Uh, dishwasher, dishwasher racks are incredible. You can make a lot of money selling dishwasher racks. I do very well with these. These sometimes hang around for a while, but that's okay. For the money I make, I made $50 off of this. All is, no, I made more than that. I made 60 one dollar something all i did was pull it out and take pictures of it and list it notice the pictures i take pictures of all the sides <clears throat> the wheels I make sure i show the wheels and there again at the end the last picture is the uh, model number of the dishwasher the height the width the length stuff like that make sure when you're selling these look for rust I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get, like, for example, look for rust anywhere. And bottoms. This one was super clean. They will sell even if they're rusty. A little hard to sell them if pieces are broken off. I've sold them with rust marks on them. I just state it's got rust marks on them. 
and I mark it down a bit, but really all I'm doing is pulling these racks out of the dishwasher, putting them on my bench, and just taking pictures of them. How I ship these is I get a big box, cut it open, and wrap it right around the, um, the dishwasher. Sorry, my phone is coming off. Um, right around the dishwasher, tape it up on each side, make a, basically make a box around the dishwasher, uh, dishwasher rack, and just ship it out like that. This one out to California. They're thrilled with it. They got it last week. Boy, this is taking forever. Again, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, gas tanks sell these all the time. These go, I put them up and they sell pretty quickly, especially this time of year in the spring. How I do this is I have multiples of these. I take a picture of one and I state, I have multiples of tanks. I'm stressing the one you get may not be the one in the picture. It may have different decals, may have a different gas cap. The inside will be clean. I will make sure of that. Um, so that, that's one thing I do when I do multiples. I always stress that I'm selling multiples. The one you get may not be the one shown, just so people know. I don't know why my phone is going off. I said I put it on silent. I'm sorry. Um, so I, I don't make a whole lot of money on these. I probably make about fifteen dollars on these, maybe fourteen dollars. But I just throw them in a box and ship them out. So it's a real quick ship. So I've got ten of these. I'm making good money. <clears throat> These, these sell like hotcakes. These are air covers, air filter covers for braces, track motors, the quantum motors. I'm sure you've seen them. What happens is people take them off. They lose them. Um, whatever. They get run over by the lawnmower. The, the screw brakes, whatever. I, can, I, I The minute I list these, I sell these. I don't make a whole lot of money on these. I do free shipping on these because everybody seems to do free shipping on these. Um, I make probably about eight bucks on on these after shipping. They go out first class, three ounces, poly envelope, wrap it around, fold it over, tape it, put a label on it, you're done. Um, I stress this fits different mowers, uh, choke, uh, primer bulb, and not primer bulb, but it all fits the same. I stress that. I'm just, I've never had one of these returned or even questions about it. So I probably sell five or six of these a week at eight bucks a piece. I'll take that. Here we have a, uh, a cable that I got for uh, nothing in a box of cables. These cables are, um, somebody gave me a box. I thought, what am I going to do with these cables? Well, I listed a few for $10. I poked around the box a little bit more, and I found this gem. Yes, that's $49.99. $49.99 for that cable. That's what they were selling for. Pretty good. I made probably uh, $42 on this. So that was really, really a good sale. I was uh, extremely uh, thrilled. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so these are really um, just whenever anybody gives you stuff like that, like a box of cables, I, I just grab them and give it to me. So I've listed four other cables for not much, maybe $10, maybe $15. But um, this sold, the guy got it. Seems like he's happy. He's had it for a couple days. Again, here's this gas tank again. This one has no cap, no gas cap on it. I thought, what the heck? I listed this, listed this gas tank here last week when I was here at the, the Frontier, and it sold while I was here at the Frontier within 20 minutes with no gas tank cap. I do test these for leaks. Uh, you can run hot water in them, really boiling water. That will show up as leak and you slosh her around and lean it over to the seams. Uh, you can um, also put gas in it and slosh her around and check the seams that way. Very simple to check. I make pictures of all the parts. I made sure I only had the part number for the gas tank, not the cap. It says no cap, so people know they're getting no cap. And it's sold within 
five minutes. Incredible. Goes first class. I was happy with that. Most of my sales I do are, I'll be honest with you, between fifteen and thirty-five dollars. Um, I do have some gems out there, like this one right here. This was a consignment item. Guy called me up. I did small engine repair for him, and uh, he said, "Hey, you still doing eBay?" I went, "Yeah, I'm still doing eBay." And he said, "Come over to my house. I got a bunch of stuff." He was going to throw these out. I went, "No, no, no, no." This is a sought after series. Let's see what they sell on eBay. And I sold these within uh, an hour of listing. And one was even damaged from me. I crushed it in my van door. I will show you. There it is. That's the damaged one. And I stayed. Excuse me. Two are slightly used. One has case damage. Never used season six. I was blown away at the, the price that they were going for. I guess they're uh, sought after. They're probably hard to find. Let's go to the next uh, next item. We're about three quarters of the way through today, folks. I know there's a lot of items just hanging there. I'm trying to give some education tours we're going along. This uh, printer I bought for a dollar at a garage sale about two years ago that I found in my garage. I parted out uh, the top piece, the top cover, uh, the front door. There were some things broken on this printer. They said it worked. Um, I didn't dive too deep into the printer to get inter internal parts out, but I did see the door was selling, so I marked it down a bit. It goes for a lot more. It goes for about $45, but let me show you what's missing. There is a little blue here. There's a blue thing that goes up and down to put paper in it, so you know how much paper is in it. That was broken off. I did sell it, um, sold it actually to somebody in Florida, I think it was, or Tennessee or somebody close by. So um, I did really well on the shipping. I think I probably made about $22 on this when all said and done. It's heavy, though. I was surprised how heavy it was. So see, when there's an issue with an item, I always say, please read in the title. I know it takes up. It's not great to put that in. You should really put stuff that grabs people and is search friendly. But I want to make sure that people know there's a problem with it. Front blue paper indicator is missing. See? Item note, again, I created an item specifics. Front blue paper is missing. For the, uh, photo 3, which I showed you. I'm very stressing the faults of the item. I want to make sure people know there's a problem with the item. I don't want somebody buying something and not being aware that there's a problem. Oh, boy, this is a dud. Okay, here's a dud. A dud alert. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the screen here, but what's it doing? Okay. Boy, look at this. What a screw-up this was. But live and learn. I made 75 cents. Yes, 75 cents profit on this item. Sort of silly, I know, but I thought I'd make a little bit more, but um, I didn't. The first class was like, it was like five. It was like... I didn't make much money in this, so I should have really researched. I probably shouldn't have even listed it, but it's gone. It went into a box I already had. Somebody gave me. I didn't use packing material. It took me two minutes to list, two minutes to ship. Like I said, again, I should have researched it more. I wasn't thinking 75 cents. There's the part number. That's actually off the one of those tank, uh, one of the tanks I sold, the same engine it came off of, 75 cents. So we're just to skip that. Hey, make money, you lose money. I don't know why these are doing this all of a sudden. So yeah, excuse my computer. Uh, this surprisingly did not go for a lot of money. This is what the average price on eBay was going for. Eleven. This is a control panel. Eleven ninety nine on a dishwasher. These control panels usually go for about forty, fifty, sixty, eighty bucks sometimes. I don't know why this one was so low. This one went to a foreign country. I think it went to Europe. I, I used a uh, uh, global shipping program, GSP. I hear people call that. How that works is it's through eBay. eBay has a facility in Kentucky, I think it is. All I got to do is ship this to Kentucky. Once it gets to their location, they are in control of the item. I'm out of the picture. 
I've been shipping through global shipping program for several years. I've never had a problem with it. If there's a problem between Kentucky and the final destination, eBay picks up the cost and handles everything. You just got to make sure you pack it properly. Don't just throw it in a box and say, oh, it got to Kentucky because you may be responsible for it. Just make sure you're packing it properly. Like I said, this, this, I, I was shocked that these things went for this low. I guess it's just a dud of a dishwasher. Didn't make a whole lot of money on this. Probably made about uh, $11. But I make sure, see, I take pictures of all the sides, numbers, tops, bottoms, more numbers. Spent a little bit of time on this listing, to be honest with you. So probably spent too much time on it. Looked it up on uh, uh, eParts.com. What I do is I just Google the part number. I find a part number, I just Google it, and I look on part sites. So I did not make a lot of money on this. I'm assuming it works. A lot of these control panels, I'm assuming works. If there's a problem, I do an immediate return. Don't worry about it. Just throw it out. I don't argue with people. I've even had one for $80. that didn't work. I immediately refunded the guy, and it was done. I don't have time to go back and forth. I don't even, sometimes I don't even know if these work. I'm just knocking on wood. That's why I just give an immediate return, immediate refund. <clears throat> Three more items left. Uh, this is another low-end, low-profit sale. Probably made about five bucks on this, but it went right into a little box that somebody gave me. I didn't even pay for the box. Had bubble wrap that somebody gave me. Um, it was in and out within less than a minute, so it's okay. Um, I usually don't go that low on items, but sales to sale. So, all right. All right, let's go on to the next item here. Sorry if I seemed a little distracted there in the last minute or two. I was waiting for a phone call. I had to run out and pick up something from somebody. We are about three items away from being done here. Uh, this is a John Deere gas tank um, off of an old, off of an old John Deere lawnmower. Uh, these things run forever, um, so the parts always sell on these. <coughs> these uh, old John Deere. Um, what model was this? I don't even JX. No, it was a. Uh, FX14, I think I was. I can't remember now. But how this works is this is under the, the top of the mower. You see the black and everything, and you see the gas cap and the oil cap. So you take all that apart, and you just sell the gas tank. Why do you just sell the gas tank? Because if you sell the big black piece, it's heavy. I've tried to sell the black piece with the gas tank attached to it, and it just doesn't sell. I don't know why it doesn't sell. I guess nobody breaks that black piece. Um, so I finally got smart, and I went, wait, I see people just selling the gas tank. So let me just sell the gas tank. And I put it up and I sold it within a week. So it hung out there a little bit. I don't have a problem with items hanging out there for, I've had items that hanging out there for, I'll be honest with you, years. Sometimes if they're small, they're not taking a lot of room. It, it doesn't bother me. It'll sell eventually. Sometimes I just end up just taking them down and, and donating the parts or throwing them away or recycling them. But this gas tank, you got to take the gas tank out on this model. Actually, I'm learning to take the gas tanks out on anything I take the gas tanks out of and not sell the black piece because it's less shipping cost on me. This went out first class. Um, I did pretty good on this. I, well, I, I sold it. I made a whole lot of money. I probably made about $11 on it. Uh, wrapped it up in bubble wrap, poly envelope, another eBay poly envelope which you get for free. If you have an eBay store, you get, well, you, you, you pick what you get on shipping. You get uh, so much, uh, I think it's every quarter, you get so much for free eBay supplies, eBay brand of supplies, which is really cool if you have an eBay store. And I have a video out there on how to look for that to uh, see what your supplies are, what your free uh, supplies are for the, for the quarter. But so this is um, basically, I guess I I take all sorts of angles, let me show you a problem I had. I cleaned it so well that I rubbed the part number off of it. <laughs> Oops. But I found the part number anyway, and um, like I said, it sold. I checked, I checked it for leaks. Like I said, hot water or gas. Slosh it around the seams to make sure it doesn't leak. Um, I rarely ever have a gas tank returned to me that leaks. Sorry for the noise. Like I said, I'm at the uh, Frontier and RTP, a co-working place, which I love. It's about 20 minutes away from my house. I 
Okay, it's a lot of coffee shops to get to this place. I don't know why this is doing this. Let's pull up what we got. A, another low end sale, a Bissell uh, cord off of a vacuum cleaner. Uh, vacuum cleaner parts sell uh, pretty well. All depends what brand you're getting. The Dysons sell very, very well. Um, Bissell's uh, sell okay. They, they, they take a while to sell. This went right into a poly envelope with no padding. Throw it right in there. First class. I think it cost me three fifty to ship it, so I did okay with this. Made about eight bucks. I'm fine with that. Eight dollars. People, oh, you, how could you sell for? That's that's their business model. My business model is, if I can make five dollars, a quick five dollars. If I can make a quick ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever, I'm happy with that. Um, the seventy-five cent item I had a problem with, but I sold it. Whatever. But um, I don't know if I would make a living out of selling seventy-five cent items. Uh, that's just not. That's a little low for me, but whatever. It happens sometimes. Um, this, um, you're taking the vacuum cleaner apart anyway, so I sold the motor, and at that point, your cord is right there. You're just disconnected from the vacuum cleaner right there, and um, right there, it just slides right out, and there's your cord. I take a picture of the ends so people know what they're getting. Um, I've never had a problem with any cords except for one time. I sold a Dyson cord, and the person said it didn't work now. I know it worked, but... Stuff happens. Could have gotten damaged in shipping. It could have just, the cord could have broken inside when they put it on. They may have put it on wrong. I'm not going to mess with it. I just gave them a full refund. I said, just keep the item. I, I don't have time to go back and forth for $10, $15. It's not my time. Now, when I first started out, if I got a return, oh my gosh, the world was going to end. I was mad. I was angry. It took me away from my business. I don't do that anymore. It's not worth it. Everybody gets returns. It's part of doing business. Two more items left. Okay, swim goggles. What the heck is he selling swim goggles? For? Well, I got these from a uh, huge Amazon seller at the time. Um, he was uh, doing tons of business with Amazon, buying things to stores and sending them to Amazon FBA program fulfilled by Amazon. It's where you take your items, bag them all up, box them all up, set them in Amazon, which is sort of nice. I do some Amazon. Uh, I do some uh, retail arbitrage. Means I go into stores and buy things and send them in Amazon. And once you're in Amazon, they ship them out. You pay a lot of fees, but your items are gone. They're out of your house. <laughs> but um, so I had all these swim goggle packages. So I thought, what the heck am I going to do with these? I'll just give them to a swim club or something. But I thought, hey, let me just sell them little by little. It's taken a while. I've got one left. I've had these things for two years. They shipped first class. Somebody bought two packs of them. So um, I did okay with two packs. I probably made uh, $10 on these. But uh, I have one left. This just says last item available. Um, pretty simple descriptions. Just took it right off the box. People love these things. I guess they're cheap enough. They don't have to do anything. They just wait to their door. Ta-da, the last item. Hooray, we made it. Thank you so much for hanging in. Let me tell you. Why this is doing this? <laughs> okay, let me tell you about this item. It's a cigar box. Like, what the heck are you selling a cigar box for for that cheap? Well, I was in the cigar store. I smoked a cigar every once in a while, and I saw all these boxes. And I thought, you know, people do crafty things with these cigar boxes. So I grabbed a bunch of them. Now, I paid nothing for them. I was at the store. I didn't go out of my way at all. So right there, to me, that's a big, starting out with a big zero. No cost. I was there anyway. I didn't even go there to get the cigar boxes. I was there. Free so far in my book. Grabbed about five of these. A two, a three Partagas boxes, two Toro Forente boxes, and this Moose box, which I thought was really cool. Chilling Moose cigars. I never had one. I have no idea what they are. But I looked them up on eBay when I got in the car, and I thought, eh, five bucks, 5.9, eh, whatever. Do the shipping a little high because it's right over first class. I think it cost me seven fifty to ship it. So I made about five bucks. I wrapped it in a bubble wrap. No, I had foam wrap from a furniture store dumpster I got. I get a lot of stuff from dumpsters, but I don't dive into dumpsters. I just reach in and get it if I see it hanging out. Furniture stores are huge places to get free uh, foam wrap and stuff like that. 
There's a dog walking by. I'm sorry. I'm a dog guy. <laughs> I had to look at the dog. So I sold this probably within a couple of days. Uh, I got more yesterday when I was at the uh, cigar store again uh, that I haven't listed yet. Some really cool wooden boxes. They don't go for much. Rarely do you get more than $10 for these things. People buy them. I'm totally fine with sale. I did this on, a, on the front of my house on a picnic bench. All sides, inside. This is really cool. It slides out. The top slides out. So that is about it, people. I really, really, really appreciate you guys hanging in there through all this, all the noise and my distractions, waiting for this phone call. Please uh, check my channel out if it ever comes up here. I don't know what is up with the Internet here today, but um, I do a lot of eBay videos, do a lot of parting out videos, do a lot of online selling motivational videos for you guys. So please... Uh, Check out my YouTube channel when you get a chance. I'm Paul Apollonia. Been on eBay, which feels like forever. If you ever need training on eBay, one-on-one, -on -one, small group, large group, even through Skype and Zoom, I do that all the time. We love, love, love helping people create a side income, side hustle. Love working with uh, teenagers, young adults, stay-at-home moms. Uh, that's a big market for me because it gives them something to do sometimes when they're just sitting around when the kids are napping. Great way to earn a little bit of money. I also run the uh, Raleigh eBay meetup group, which is a great group. I got about 15, 20 people showing up now. 7 to 8.45, second Thursday of the month. Look that up on meetup. And there's a link below. Below there's going to be links to everything I've done. I've been on a lot of podcasts. And a bunch of other stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope this helped you out. And again, excuse me for my distraction here for a little bit. But uh, thanks for hanging in. You guys have a great day. I'll see you now.